Our next guest is a home remodeling star and is in town as part of the Minneapolis Home and Remodeling Show. He's known for his work, of course, on Fixer Upper and has his own show on the new Magnolia Network called Restoration Road. Here's a little preview. I'm Clint Hart. I'm traveling the country to shed a light on some incredible restorations and transformations. Get hands on with some of the builders bringing these amazing places back to life and make sure these new stories live on for years to come. To really tell the stories of these structures, you've got to dig a little deeper. Oh, I want to tear this down right now. Well, uh, I don't want to stop you. Thank you. Barney, this is something right here. You don't see these every day. That's a good haul. It's like working in the footsteps of the folks who settled this part of America. 14-foot ceiling. There's uh, so much amazing wood in here. We should Restoration Road, you can find it on the brand new Magnolia Network. I watch it the, via Discovery Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, Clint Harp. Hi, Clint. How's it going? Good, buddy. I, uh, you know, especially in this age, this era we're living in where there's so many uh, entertainment things available, it's really hard to break out. It's really hard to become a phenomenon. And I think it's easy to say, I think it's safe to say, Fixer Upper, Chip, Joanna, you, yeah. You guys uh, became uh, like a, a cultural phenomenon. Can I ask you, because I'm always curious about this, when did you realize, Clint, that Fixer Upper and you, by, by extension, th that you guys were something, that something was happening, you were clicking? Yeah, well, first of all, uh, Jason, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm honored to be on your show and I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, excited to get up there to Minnesota. Uh, hopefully, if the ice in Waco will relent and uh, <laughs> yes. let them get on the road, we don't know how to handle this stuff down here. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but yeah, you know, there were a few things that started to give that away. Um, you know, when in the first season of Fixer Upper, I did um, with my wife, we did our house that ended up, you know, uh, being a, a fan favorite of the Fixer Upper franchise, really. And, the house was a total mess. There, there you go, right there. And um, that was perfect timing. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and we lived in, in that house and that house was actually right next door. You can't see it, but right to the left of that house is our shop. And we were inviting people over, you know, from all over the country to come visit our shop and shop in our storefront and all of the stuff that we're making. And, you know, when it was Father's Day one year and I'm laying on the couch and taking my my nap, which was like the gift that my family gave me that day. I was like, here, you just sit on the couch, take a nap and, you know, chill. <laughs> and this guy from like Iowa knocked on the door and was like, my wife and I drove in and I, I hate to bother you, but could we take a picture with you? <laughs> and it, it, it was kind of like. Okay, this yep. uh, this is getting a little intense, and uh, we actually <laughs> that that, was that moment where I was like, okay, we've got to move houses yeah. here. Did um, you? But there were little things like that that started happening, and you know, you start greeting people in your driveway to your shop who are like, oh my gosh, I love the show. I came all the way from, you know, Michigan. I came all the way from Minnesota, from California, from Australia. Yeah, <laughs> and you're like. You did? Really? Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, it's just been the coolest thing and, and the biggest honor. And no doubt there's a little bit of a uh, lightning in a bottle situation with it for sure. Because, I mean, for something like this to take off like it did, is, uh, it's pretty it's pretty insane. Whether it's Fixer Up or, or any other show on Magnolia or HD or whatever, there's always a hook. There's always a concept. Uh, walk me through Restoration Road, if you would, my friend. Yeah, so with Restoration Road, we're going around the country and I am following the story of these crews that are, they have been doing this for years and years and years. They're taking down these old structures, which may be 150 years old, they may be 250 years old. The wood itself may be 500 years old. Um, and, and they're taking these structures down and they're moving them sometimes across the country. Um, sometimes they're you know, uh, restoring them right there uh, where they barely stand because they're falling down. Um, and they're bringing them back to life and giving them a new life. And it's, you know, in the beginning, uh, when Chip and Joe had the idea for the show, I was talking with Allison Page, the president of Magnolia Network, and she was like, so right now, Joe's, she's calling the show um, old to new. 
<laughs> that was <laughs> that, that was as far as we got. You know, it was like old and new, and let's go from there. And 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 uh, and and so what was cool is that I said, you know what, I love the idea. I love working with old structures, old wood, the whole thing. My only thing is I want to sit at the creative table, and they were like, absolutely. And I said, okay, well then, if I'm at the creative table, for me, I love the idea of making a show about barns and old structures, but I want to know about the history of the place where that barn came from. I want to know, you know, about the people that built it. I want to know about the people that were on that land before the people got there that built the the thing. Um, If we're in Dublin, Georgia, and that turns out to be the home of the first speech that Martin Luther King Jr. gave as a 15 year old kid uh, in a high school speech competition. I want to talk about that as yeah. well as the log cabin that we're moving there. I love that. And, that- uh, and so that's what we've uh, gotten to do. And we're learning about the history, not only of these structures, but of our country as well um, through these structures. And it's- and that's the good history and the history that we might not want to talk about. And uh, But I just think it's really important that we do talk about it um, because we learn yep. and, and we get better and I- we, uh, you know, uh, can learn how to move forward in the future in a healthier way as a country. And, uh, if we learn from some of the things that we come from, so Absolutely, it's really friend. been awesome, uh, to get to do. And, uh, we're working on season two right now and people on TV are finally getting to watch it because the Magnolia network finally launched on TV and not just discovery plus. I think you said you streamed yeah, it. I love it. I'm, I believe me. It's, it's the a nightly ritual. Well, I can't wait to see you here uh, in Minneapolis. Hope the weather behaves down in Waco and we'll, we'll see you when you're at the home and remodeling show, my friend. Jason, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you, really. Pleasure to meet you. Again, Clint will be at the Home and Remodeling Show. It's this weekend at U.S. Bank Stadium. For tickets, go to the Minneapolis. Go to Minneapolis Home and Remodeling Show.com. Good guy. We're going to take a break. We'll be back right after this.